How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, it's getting late in the season. I had a couple people ask me for some yellow root. And uh, I'm out looking for some yellow root. There's three things I'd like to find. I'd like to find a little bit of yellow root. Uh, I'd like to find some ramp seeds. And uh, possibly a ginseng plant. <coughs> now like I said, it's getting late in the season. And it's also getting late in the day for me. Uh, it's after work for me. And I decided I'd try to go out and see what I could find. Now, we we're getting really close to a frost. Uh, the frost probably in a few days or something. We're going to get maybe even a couple weeks. I don't know. Uh, but that frost comes through. It's going to lay these plants over pretty good. So, hopefully... We can run across something. I know this area for yellow root. Uh, I know it for ginseng. And uh, it's uh, definitely good for both, all three of them. And the uh, ramp seed. So hang in there. Let's see what we can find. Alright, we're back in here a little ways, and uh, we're starting to find some yellow root. Things are looking just a little different. You know, every year things grow up, and looks like things change, you know, to me. So, I'm trying to find the spots where we've seen the yellow root, so I can go back to them. And, uh, just a bit rough, but we're finding it. So, we got one nice big... Big old plant right here. That's what they look like. We're gonna go ahead and get us a couple of these guys dug out on video. And if you don't know what yellow root looks like, we're gonna show you. This is yellow root. And uh, the reason they call it yellow root, because guess what? The root, when you break it, it's a bright yellow. Look at that bright yellow so it's getting late so I'm not gonna do too much of this on the video we're gonna get a few of these plants in the bag and then uh, we're going to move on and see if we can get some of them ramp seeds I have yet to find the ramps and at this time of year you can find the bulbs so I'm gonna get to digging So now we found a lot bigger patch, so this will be easier to dig. We'll be able to get a bunch more out of the ground and faster. It's getting dark on us. All right, so we took some yellow root out of here, but we still left a lot of it. That way it'll still be able to seed and give us some more later. There's still a bunch here, so we're gonna move on and see if we can find another patch. Maybe even a ginseng plant or two. Oh, and those ramp seeds, I just haven't been able to find them. So we're gonna keep looking. See if we can find some more. I hate to dig all the plants in one area. I like to leave some for seed. Oh, don't wanna take them all. Other people would like to have some later or I'd like to come back another day. I need to go up and across here.
I'm going to put the camera down because I don't want to fall. This is a steep hill. So if I run across anything, we'll get you guys back in here. All right, as you can see, we run into a nice little patch of yellow root here. We'll take, I don't know, maybe four or five out of here. And uh, we'll uh, move on to the next spot. If we can find some more, we'll get us some more. Like I said, I don't like taking them all out at one time. And it's really hard to be videotaping and digging roots. Lay him off to the side, get us a couple more. Some good soil here. Need to get two more out of here. Find two big ones. Six plants out of that batch. So we'll get these put in the bag and uh, move on. Man, these are some huge black coash. Man, that's huge. Big old coash plants. I've been actually working my way across this hillside and uh, not finding anything uh, as far as ginseng goes. Uh, I know there was a few guys in here hunting. Um, and I think they took a lot of the big patches there, but, oh, oh they go down the hill. Whew. Man, these hills are steep, but we'll make it. Oh. That was the easy way of getting down. Anyhow, we've been looking, and we're just not finding much at all as far as ginseng goes but we did get our goal with the yellow root that was a good thing it's like i said i had a few people asking a couple people asking about yellow root and i got some for them so we'll get that cleaned up and make some tea for you guys but i'm gonna keep walking along this ridge and maybe i can find me maybe one or two sang plants Whew. You know, as much as I say I want to go up, and I know that's going to be better up there, my body's saying, <laughs> stay down, you're by yourself. When I just fell there, look at my walking stick. It's a good thing I had it, though, because that's what I held on to. His walking stick's come in handy. We can always straighten that walking stick back out. But my legs is a little hard to straighten out. So, I've been walking for, well... Probably almost an hour and I just haven't found any ginseng plants now when I first come into the woods I met two gentlemen and they were sitting in one of the patches that I had left because you guys know I don't dig everything and they were sitting right in the middle of it digging it so uh, as you can see it looks like they were up here too they dug some up here see I think they went all the way across this hill see maybe looks like some dig marks but you know the older you get the harder it is to get up them hills so I'm not a hundred percent but I think they got this patch too So they pretty much got it cleaned up. I, I really don't want to even really dig any because I know uh, that if you dig it all, it don't come back that easy. So I'm gonna continue walking. Maybe I can get some on video, but uh, I'm not so sure. I think they took most all of it. I mean, I think they were veteran hunter so well maybe not I see one here this one here is kind of buried in the leaves this is a little one a little three pronger 
little three pronger. One way of uh, what I do to keep people from digging them this time of year is I'll come through and I'll pinch them off. And that way I know nobody's going to dig this this year. Uh, now next year, that's a different story. But, and I'll take that plant with me and drop it somewhere on the, along the way. But that's one way of keeping people from digging them. Is uh, break them off and take them with you. Drop them along the trail somewhere. That was a nice three pronger, but I don't want to dig any. I'd rather not dig. I know they were in here, and that one there might be the only survivor. You never know. It always seems like they come back uh, different places every year. So that was one sang plant there, but I'm sure there's still more in here. You never get them all. I guess you can't say never. But I haven't seen many, so. All right, so we'll get you guys back in here if I run across anything else. Now this is a beautiful sight to see when you're out ginseng hunting, but a lot of people will look for them berries because they're out now. The berries are on and basically I think a lot of them have already fell off. But uh, they see that red and they run to it and they find out it's just an old Indian turnip. This is an Indian turnip. Uh, I'm not going to eat it. I tried one one time. wasn't good. I think you got to cook them. Don't be eating them dead going things raw. So, I think we're going to get ready to get out of these woods. It's starting to get dark and it's starting to get real windy. We don't want no trees falling on our heads. Now, as far as it goes, we just found that one ginseng plant on that whole hike. So, let's get this back to the house. Well, I think we did pretty good. Oh, uh, one thing I think uh, I don't realize is how old I'm getting. And these woods, <laughs> climbing them hills and stuff, are tough on you. And to make it even tougher, I'm uh, carrying a big camera case around my neck, tripods, a walking stick, a bag, a digger, all this stuff got to go with me. And then I got to keep an eye on it, make sure I don't lose anything. But I can tell you one thing, those diggers that I made, that I was selling at one time, uh, that digger stays on my side and I just put it in my pocket, that little loop fits in my pocket. I don't know if you guys remember the digger. Let me show you the digger. This is the digger that I uh, made and I was selling them online. It's really nice, especially when you want to detail dig out a nice uh, ginseng root. But I just slip it in my pocket, that little loop on the side, and it stays there. Even when I roll down hills, it's still there. I wanted to get the yellow root uh, for a couple of my viewers out there that wanted some yellow root. I'm going to get you some yellow root, so what we're going to do is we're going to get it back home, get it cleaned up, and I'll email them, get their addresses, and once it's dry, we'll get it shipped out to them. Uh, can't ship it wet, it has to dry, so guys, you're going to have to wait until it dries, uh, because if I put it in any kind of bag or anything, I don't want it mildewing. And by the time you get to it, it's no good. So we're not going to do that. So we'll get this back to the house and get it cleaned up. And uh, get it out on some screen and get it drying. And then we'll ship out your uh, yellow root. Hopefully we can make a, gla a nice glass of tea before you guys get it. I'll make a glass of tea. I'll do that on video for you. So just walking our way back to the car. Got about a half hour. So walking, so we'll be all right. I'll catch you guys a little bit later. All right, we have all of our golden seal yellow root back here at the house. And now what I'm gonna do is just take some cold water and we're gonna fill this bag up and we're gonna rinse this uh, stuff until the water is clean. So what we'll do is we'll fill the bag up with water and swish it around real good and uh, until that water is clean, no more dirt. As you can see all the dirt in there, see how the water the bag turned brown? Well, when that thing runs clean, then we'll know 
we have clean roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this. I only got one hand on the camera, one on the bag, and uh, we'll get you back in here. We'll keep rinsing it until we got a clean bag of roots. All right, after your uh, golden seal yellow root is uh, rinsed off real good, you're gonna grab it out of the bag, and we're gonna lay it out on this couple rags here. And lay it all out because we're not finished yet after we lay it out on the towel here we're going to we're going to go through this and we're going to look for things that don't go with yellow root now here's a piece of grass i'm going to take it out and you're gonna find roots that don't belong to the yellow root you want anything that's not attached to it you want to take it off you want to make sure you look over each piece real good if there's anything in there it could be down in there you want to make sure you get it out because we just want yellow root so we'll go through each piece inspecting each one Making sure there's no other other roots in there besides the yellow root. And uh, you know when you rinse it you get as much of the dirt off of it as you can. I mean you don't get every little bit off but you get as much as you can. See there's something I wouldn't want in there. So I'm going to go through all this. Make sure there's no other unwanted roots mixed in with this stuff because they'll come out on the ground when you dig them some of the other roots will come up with it and you don't want that so I'm gonna finish going through all this and then uh, we'll get it on some screen all right the easiest way I know to make uh, yellow root or gold seal tea is this has been drying and it's dried up nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a root here. This is one of the roots. And I'm gonna put it right in my coffee cup. Then I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee. Now normally I'll drink about two cups of coffee in the morning and I'll leave that root right in that cup and then every time I make a cup of coffee the next cup of coffee will be in the cup and that'll get it'll just steep in that cup as you're drinking it so that's the best way to make uh, yellow root tea golden seal tea for me simple we're gonna get this shipped out uh, this lady's probably wondering where this stuff is but uh, Hopefully she's okay with it. It's good and dry. We ain't got to worry about mildewing. 